The sheriff's office remains tight-lipped about much of the investigation. The fire at the house has been ruled an arson. Investigators are calling Kelly's husband, Scott Morris, a person of interest, but won't release any further details. Morris has not said anything publicly since his wife disappeared. Her family members say he has not helped with the search. Straight back out to Pat Curran. This is Kelly Morris's father joining us tonight. Mr. Curran, again, thank you for being with us. I know this is a very trying time for you and your wife and your entire family. What were the circumstances of her disappearance? Um, we, we, my wife had gone to, uh, one of the children had stuck something in their foot and they had gone to their house on the third and uh, my daughter's working a part-time job and had started a new job about 10 days prior to that, and she had gone, uh, she works for a, a group of older people, a, a, a place for the older people to live, and she was over uh, helping out with that and collecting money from them for uh, whatever that part was. But anyway, so she came in while my wife was there, and, and as far as we know, everything was okay, and, and uh, obviously no, none of our family has talked to her since. What are the ages of her children? Uh, five and eight. And where are they tonight? Uh, the the eight year old child is with her daddy, which uh, was from a previous uh, right, and the five year old is with Scott. Mr. Curran, thank you for being with us. Everyone will be back on the story tomorrow night. Leaving behind two little children. Where is Kelly? I want to stop and remember Army Staff Sergeant Sean Whitehead, 24, Commerce, Georgia, killed Iraq on a second tour, awarded the Bronze Star and Purple Heart, dedicated to country and his fellow soldiers' dream of a military career. Loved time with family, playing with his children, leaves behind grieving mom Rebecca, widow Brenda, son Gabriel, daughter Jana, Sean Whitehead, American hero.